At Nissan of Silsby, did you know that we have a complete service department? Whether you need detailed mechanical work or just a $12.95 oil change, we can handle it for you. And we rent new Nissans. And we rent to everybody. Get a three-day weekend for just $99 or rent it longer. And of course we sell. Get a 2011 Nissan Altima for just $199 per month or get a great deal on a certified pre-owned vehicle. But best of all, at Nissan of Silsby, we're making deals the Silsby way. J.P. White, Sports Big Sports, uh, where we talk about sports and a few other things, and I'm tickled pink to have Laquan Stallworth there with us. Laquan, yes. hello there. Thanks for coming by and telling us about it. Uh, no problem. Laquan, you graduated from Silsby High School. Yes, sir. Played basketball for the Tigers. Then, what, uh, after you left, which, where did you go to college and play, and what? Louisiana Tech University in Ruston, Louisiana. Is that near Monroe? Uh, yes, I was 20 minutes outside of Monroe. There you go, okay. Uh, what was the coach, that was a famous coach, and he must have been a good one. I know he's pretty <laughs> smart to get you. Go ahead. Who what was his name? Uh, Leon Barmore. Yes, Barmore, Barmore that's right. Is he... What the, what's the scoop on him? He coached for years. Is he still coaching? He can't be still coaching. Um, actually, he is. Um, he's one of the best coaches in women's basketball. Has the highest percentage of winning percentage in women's basketball today. Um, right now, what he's doing, he's a consultant as an assistant coach under his uh, protege, Kim Mulkey, at Baylor University. Kim Mulkey is now one of the best coaches uh, that's in the uh, women's basketball NCAA, which she was under assistant coach for Leon Baltimore at Louisiana Tech. She yep. also played, so she got the head coach job at Baylor, and she brought Coach Baltimore in to help her out at Baylor University. Whoa, I bet they got a team up there. Huh? Oh, yes, oh, yes. They have one of the one of the good players right now, uh, Brittany Gardner, that's from uh, Houston. Yep. Um, she's one of the tallest females that's in uh, college basketball. Yeah. Uh, Laquan. You're not very tall. How tall are you, girl? I'm 5'7". You're 5'7", and it's six footers that play basketball. Yeah, but hey, the smaller you are, the quicker you are, they say. Yeah, you go. The smaller you are, the quicker you are. And she moved. I tell you, Steve, I watched her when she was in high school. Oh, you went after it. Okay, um, then Aunt Laquan, after playing for Louisiana Tech, then what you did? You got your degree, of course. Yes, I what, did. What, what did you study? I studied computer information system. Computer information system. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, you're sort of teaching right now. What are you teaching? Um, I do. Uh, I train uh, also the youth out in Houston uh, with uh, score, score performance, and we do individual training, uh, hold clinics and camps, um, and also do uh, sports agents. Well, I'm working as an agency with other athletes, trying to help them get overseas, and then also in the entertainment business where I manage a uh, actors, models, and dancers as well, and artists. Hey, there you go. Oh, quite a bit. All righty. Now, then, after graduating from uh, Louisiana Tech, what happened to you? Um, I actually went overseas uh, to go. Russia was my, I mean, Israel was my first year over there. I uh, played over there for uh, a year. And then I went over to uh, about three other different countries and played as well. Well, now wait a minute. When you went to Israel and played, who what damn team? Who were you playing with? The what team? Um, what? It's uh, they have their league over there. It's like uh, FIBA, which is almost like the NBA or the WNBA here, and it's international. And they have their own league and their and their system as well over there. Uh, what name of the team? Or was it a town? Or uh, what's it? I was actually in Maccabi Ashdod. Um, it's right side. It's outside of the uh, the main place in the Israel Tel Aviv. Yes. Um, so it was a nice uh, small community. Um, just uh, very beautiful as well. And they, and they had a team. Yes. And you played with that team. Did you play the same same team all the time you were over there? Um, yeah, I played with the same team for the whole entire time until the next season where I went somewhere else to play. Okay, but well, after you left Israel, where did you go to play? Uh, went to China. China? Yes. Ooh, Lord, go tell me about it. Uh, China was very unique, uh, different. Um, I just say I'll just say that's a place that you ought to appreciate America a whole lot. Be grateful for where you live because we have a lot of opportunity and I mean we just we actually have a good life here. Okay, okay. well you enjoyed that. It was did you have 
It's okay with you playing there, right? Yeah, it's okay, but the lifestyle, living there, the people, poverty is is amazing. And from there, you went to some other uh, places. Russia. Russia? Yeah, I went to Russia. And that was very different <laughs> in Russia. Cold. Cold? Uh, very extremely cold. Yeah. yeah. But um, it was just, um, it was just the experience that their type of lifestyle, they, um, they're they kind of different than the way we are here. It's, um, they tend to celebrate a lot of things that are different the way we celebrate things like we'll celebrate things on Easter Day but they they celebrate things uh, before Easter Day and anything on Easter is forbidden so it's a lot of different things the tradition there is very different than here um, but it was a lot of great players uh, basically they had they're huge some of the players over there so but it's a town of the vodka <laughs> there you go. Uh, what about the facilities, the gyms uh, where you played? Were they good or okay or what? Yes, um, all the their sports. They they you know they put a lot into the sports over there in, in the co different countries because that's what they thrive off of. Yeah. So their facilities are very nice. They put a lot into the sports world. Well, that didn't end it. You played some more professional somewhere else. Didn't yeah, you? I traveled over to Dublin and Germany for a little bit. Uh, did different things like that before um, I started doing a little tour uh, with uh, a team out of Jackson, which we were sponsored by uh, Adidas, and we did an Adidas tour, a couple of tournaments uh, with Adidas, and we won like 13 tournaments in a row. One minute now with Adidas, okay, yeah, all right, I, I, I'm a dummy. What well, that that name something to do with sports? What is it? Uh, Adidas is uh, basically the uh, shoeing foot shoeing for footwear, clothing, and different things like that. And what they do, they have a travel team that goes out and plays um, different teams. We also go on college tours. Uh, we go and play in big time tournaments in Las Vegas and different areas. And that okay. And and how long did you play? And what kind of records did uh, you help make with that team? Um, I actually did that for maybe about two and a half, three years with them. You got paid good for that down there. Yeah, free clothing, free shoes, and yeah, and the money. <laughs> yeah, and the money. Free clothes, free shoes, and the money. Yeah. The, but the money was good, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You still got that in your pocket. Go ahead. <laughs> Money's always good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but it was just more, uh, besides the money, it was just basically the experience of everything because that's something, you know, a lot of people would never get a chance to experience in their life and I was able to experience that right out of college, the, the different cultures, the different countries. Um, so, I mean, it's just amazing. It makes you proud to be American and um, you have to realize that we are very spoiled here, yeah. but, you know, I mean, we are, I'm glad to be American, but it, it's it's an open, open Okay, island. you said you went to Germany and Dublin mm -hmm. and what, uh, Dublin and Ireland? Yes, yes. Okay. And, and uh, did you make several trips there in the three years, two and a half years, or, or did you just go back? Yeah, I uh, made uh, several trips over there, uh, um, basically travel um, with, you, they have like an international, uh, kind of tournament where you play uh, different countries and different teams in each country and different things like that. And uh, they had quite a good record, didn't they? Yeah, that was a good team you were playing with. Oh yes, oh yes. What kind of what kind of record did they did he, did he keep something like they won and so and won and lost or something? What, tell me about that. Um, they, their records are not like we do here, like we, we're very uh, caught up on, you know, everybody, how the coaches' records are, how the team records are, but we, we had a pretty good record. Uh, we was around uh, 30 and 4, or something like that. No kidding. So, we had a pretty good team. And you look, you got you got to be you with the ball handler, I bet you. Oh, yes. I, I love the rock. Uh, what do they call you? You guys, they talk about point guards and, and the, the, all these other things. I, I was supposed to know that saying about it. <laughs> I don't know. But anyhow, what were you, a point guard? Yeah, I, I played point guard and shooting guard. That's quarterback, isn't it? Uh, just about. You, we run a team with a captain of the ship. There you go. You bring that ball. Of course, there's, there's somebody else sort of assisting you occasionally to help you bring the ball down, right? Is yes. that right? Yes. But basically, you brought it down. It, 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 okay. And then, uh, I bet you did. Yeah, you didn't hold. I, how did you tell a team what kind of play you want them to do? Um, basically, uh, we either do hand signals or we basically say the name of a play that we want to run. Everything has code names that you may want to call out. And uh, like what kind of a name would you say? Um, I I may say high stack. 
which my teammates would know what high stack means. Uh, the other team, the opposing team would know, but my team would know what high stack means, and they will um, basically fall into that position and get ready for the play by the time I reach half court. There you go. All right. Well, uh, oh, I know something that I don't know how much time we're doing here, but I, I, the clock's running backwards over here, and I, so I can't tell how I'm doing good. But I know we got to talk, uh, talk about Tanisha McDaniel's Boys, Girls, and Boys and Girls Club. Uh -huh. Tell me, hey, she's doing something good. What's going on? And you're going to do something to help her. Yes, um, uh, uh, Tanisha Matthews, she's basically the director of the Boys and Girls Club for Hart County, uh, which is a good thing because it gives kids a, a place to go, a place to just attend, to learn different things. Um, I basically got a chance to visit there. Uh, she has computers in there. They can learn the uh, technology education world, the basketball world, um, in different sports, volleyball. So it was a good thing. I saw the gym. That's the gym over by where the football field used to be. Mm -hmm. I don't know what they call it and whatever, but I tell you, the gym looks so good. I, it, I, I kind of feel like it looked as good as it did when it was brand new. Mm -hmm. That's just looks to me a lot. I brought you a lot of ball games out of there, but that gymnasium is really well kept and it's been trimmed up and tuned up and cleaned up and painted up. And everything. It, it, I, I guess you saw that, didn't you? Yeah, she actually did a good job. I remember playing in that gym when I was in junior high. Uh, play, actually, uh, before that, when I was in uh, elementary doing playing little dribblers. That's you played little dribblers? Did you used. go? Where'd you go to little dribblers tournament? Uh, we actually went to uh, we went to several different places at Bryan, Texas. Um, Way up in North yeah, Texas. Yeah, we yeah we went to. I went with you a lot of times. Maybe yeah. I do you remember whether or not I broadcast some of your games that day. You know, I, I remember you always um, broadcasting my high school games. You was there all the time. I just I just remember talking to you after the games, uh, different things like that. Yeah, sometimes <laughs> they thought I was making it up. <laughs> And I'm sort of, oh, I know what. I'll ask you too, give you a question. Is something you want to tell me that you want to tell the people? Um, just um, basically, you know, with the youth, just go out, make sure you get your education. Education uh, is very important, it's very critical at this time, especially with the economy. Always put God first, family second, education third, and any sports last. That equals success. And that, will, and that will help you continue success in your life. Uh, J.P. White with Sports Speak Sports, where we talk sports and sometimes we talk a few other things. And I do appreciate you coming by and talking with us, Laquan. Well, thank you so much. All right. All right. Bye-bye. Sports Speak Golf Cars and Motorbikes, Highway 327 West in Silsby, has a sophisticated street legal Tony Lamborghini golf cart. Six seaters, four seaters, customized trailers, the three electric bikes, manual pedal bikes, and a motorized Velo Solex. Tires, wheels, trolleys, and accessories for club car and easy go. Sports Speak Golf Cars and Motorbikes, Highway 327 West in Silsby. Call them at 385 3838.